Hey guys. Okay, so today is a little bit different. I've been having fun with wigs and playing with color. So today is a Poison Ivy makeup look. Kind of a tutorial, kind of a journey. Please trust the process on this one. It was a journey. That is what I'm going to say. It was a journey, but I feel like it all came together and I had so much fun doing this and playing with this wig and all these colors because I've never done any of this before. I've never had red brows before. So yeah, just enjoy the journey. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and let's just get into it. Okay guys, so I have my base on. I have some red brows, which I have never done before. I've never even really done my brows um, in my life. And today is the first time I've ever done them and I did it with like red lipstick and concealer. So they're really thick and I don't know how to fix that. So I'm just gonna leave them and hope when I put the red wig on, it all bounces. Again, as always, you guys already saw the finished look. Don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't have a clue of what I'm doing, but hopefully it came out good. You guys know, I do not. So me and my alien antenna bangs are ready to get on into this tutorial tutorial journey. I hate claiming that this is a tutorial because I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's get started. So I think I'm gonna start with my face. I have my base on, but I wanted to contour with a green eyeshadow to make myself look like a vine or something. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna use the Morphe Dare to Create palette, which I've used in previous videos. And I think I'm gonna go in with this green shade. I don't know, one of them. Maybe I'm gonna mix them all, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see what this looks like as contour on my cheeks. Okay, so now I kind of have green on the perimeters of my face. It looks like mud right now. I'm hoping with like blush and highlight, it'll look less muddy. If it still looks muddy, oh well, I don't care. Or I'm gonna go in with my Glow Cosmetics blush as always. I'm gonna put that the tops of my cheeks like at the front more so it doesn't completely interrupt the green mud I have going on. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a little Champagne Pop highlight on my cheekbones and I did wanna go in with a little this iridescent green eyeshadow that I have on my cheekbones, but I don't know if I'm feeling that fantasy right now. This little natural green shade. It's in a Butter London palette. I've never used it before, but it looks kind of nice. Kind of works. Comes out like gold green. I think I could blend it in with my beauty blender a little bit and it'll be fine. It's called Natural Goddess, this palette. Kind of sounds like a Poison Ivy palette to me. Oh, maybe I'll put it all over my cheek. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my Artist Couture Glow Powder and put a little bit of that on my cheekbones to try to hide like the green cast because it does kind of leave a shadow on my cheeks and I don't want that. I want it to glow on the side of my cheeks, but not at the front. I haven't done any baking in a while. I've kind of been over that trend. I've been into like my skin glowing and not really using very much powder at all. But for this look specifically, I think I'm going to Use a little bit of powder to clean up the green fallout. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit and then when I'm done, I think I'm gonna add more bronzer to kind of, I don't know, make it blend together because this is looking a little strange, um, especially this cheek, but whatever. You know, it's just for a TikTok. It's not that serious. I just wanted to bring you guys on this journey with me because every time I do makeup looks like this, I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm hoping for the best. So this may be a fail, who knows? Now I need to start on the eyes. I mean, I have a ton of green eyeshadows in palettes. Like green is actually a really common color, which I didn't notice until I was going through my palettes for this look. But I think I'm gonna start, as always it seems, with the Dare to Create palette and use those greens that I used on my face in my crease. Cause I wanna do a green shadow with gold reflex and I have a gold eyeshadow that I'm going to use. So I'm just gonna put this in my crease to start. Okay, and then in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, there's a super deep green. So I think I'm gonna put that on the outsides of my eyes to kind of deepen them up and give a little dimension. So I'm gonna add black now to the outer corners and just continue deepening up the eyes. Okay, so the black low-key overtook the eyes. It literally looks 
not good right now, but I'm gonna fix it and make it semi-decent at some point. It'll come together probably, maybe. I don't know, you guys know. Maybe I never even posted this video. Literally, who knows. Before I clean all this, I'm going to just see what the lid color looks like on the eyes so I can kind of get an idea of what I need to do. I'm taking the Emerald shade in this Violet Voss Essentials palette. I've been loving this palette lately. It's been my go-to. Ooh. So the green is on there. It's a really nice eyeshadow, really like that. I'm gonna go in with that gold I was telling you guys about and see how that looks. I'm gonna use this color, 24 Karat Magic in the Pure Festival palette. This palette's really fun. I've never used it, but it has a lot of fun stuff in there. So yeah, this is like a full glitter shadow. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I like that. That's awesome. That looks so good. Love that, okay. I hope. Okay, that looks super cool. Okay, the shadow's making it look weird, but in the mirror it looks even. So I'm just gonna kind of leave that. And I'm gonna go back in with black and deepen up the sides even more. Now I think I'm going to wipe away this bacon or kind of blend it in. And I'm going to go in with a touch of bronzer. I'm gonna use my pretty vulgar bronzer that I always use. Now I wanna do underneath my eyes. Oh, this one had black on it, <laughs> clearly, okay. I think the brush is pretty clean now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with those two greens that I've been using the whole time from the Dare to Create palette and put them underneath. I'm just going to do a touch of black on the outer corners and then I'm going to go back into the Pure Cosmetics palette and put some of that gold underneath my eyes. I think that looks cool. I'm going to tightline my eyes with this Kat Von D Cake Pencil. Next, I wanna do some eyeliner, and lately, like the last video, I've been doing eyeshadow eyeliner instead of liquid eyeliner, because I feel like, especially with smoky eye looks, it just kind of brings everything together and looks really nice. So I'm going in with black, and I'm going to do a winged eyeshadow eyeliner. So that is the eyeliner. Now I'm gonna put on some lashes and mascara and I will be right back. Hey okay, guys, lashes are on. I wanna give you a, an eye, a look at the eyes. I think they look good. I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's a little messy, but for TikTok, you know, I think it's fine. Now I have to put on lipstick and then I'm gonna put on the wig and the flowers or the leaves in my hair. Okay, for lipstick, I'm gonna use this liquid. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this Sephora Liquid Lip in shade 96. I think it came with like a rewards thing. I get so many questions about it, and I don't think they sell it, but there it is. It's really cute, and it's like the perfect red, so they should shell, should shell it, should should sell it. Jeez. Oh my God, I look like Ronald McDonald. Also guys, I have a planet on my chin. <laughs> like, who invited you to the party? I don't know, but um, ignore that. Not supposed to be there. Okay, so now it is time for the wig. And last time I wore a wig, I had it on when I got started, but today I'm gonna put like leaves in my hair. So I wanted to like just do the whole wig situation with you guys after I did the makeup. So gonna go get the wig. I dead ass look like Ronald McDonald. What? What? Okay, time to take this 
pony out. Bye to the alien bangs. Now because I'm lazy, I'm not even gonna put it in braids. I'm just gonna put it in a low bun with no ponytail holder, living life on the edge. And I'm just gonna put the wig cap and hope for the best. I have a lot of hair, so, um, you know, may not go the greatest, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'll just throw her on. <laughs> I am Ronald McDonald. <laughs> oh my God. I literally am Ronald McDonald. Do I want it like this? Do I want it like, I feel like this is kind of the move low key. And then I'm gonna put this leave, I think in my shirt. Maybe I can make it look decent. Ooh. Okay guys, this is the look. Did I do it? It's like Ronald McDonald meets Poison Ivy. I don't hate it. I hate my hands though. But this is when you know there's been a successful makeup look. Let's go into the natural light. So you guys can see this. My goodness gracious. We've got a lot going on here. <gasps> <gasps> it looks so cool. Guys, right, so this is the finished look in the lights. I think it looks pretty good. When I look down, my eyes look a little messy, but like, I don't even care because I feel like the overall vibe is there. And I really just did this for a TikTok, so it's not that serious. But overall, I've never done brows before. I rarely play with greens and I've never had red hair in my life. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not that mad at it. So I guess that's it guys. Please go check out my TikTok at Haley Joe if you want to see what I created with this whole look at Haley Joe. I will have it linked in the description. Also follow me on Instagram if you want to see the pictures that I ended up taking with this look. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just going to continue doing Halloween looks. So let me know what you want to see next. It's August. So to me, it's it's been Halloween, but like it's really about to be Halloween season. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.